Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video. I'm going to try to do a short one today just because I don't have too much time. And before I start talking about the today's video, by the way, I'd like to apologize for posting two videos in one weekend, but unfortunately this is my only free time uh, that I have to uh, film some videos, do some testing and also post them on YouTube. Um, other than that, I'm crazy busy working a lot and um, I don't have time for fun at all, especially for radio projects. Hopefully sometime by mid-July uh, things will get back to normal and I get back to uh, posting regular videos on YouTube and as well I have a long list of articles that I want to post on the blog. Uh, so yeah, hopefully things will get better and uh, back to normal. But coming back to the, today's video, uh, we're going to try to build a Super VXO and test it. And the reason for this is that uh, some while ago I built a VFO project which I haven't finished by the way, it's somewhere in the box inside the house. I put it well uh, because I didn't want to mess it up when I was moving and I put it so well that right now I cannot find it but I have to find it and uh, get back to it, trying to finish it. Uh, but after I posted that video, uh, I had a couple of emails from, uh, from the subscribers to the channel asking me why I'm not trying a Super VXO as well. Uh, some of them, they already know my idea for this summer. I'm trying to build a simple CW transceiver that it doesn't have a fixed frequency like the Pixie or similar transceivers. Um, so uh, I thought, yeah, it might be a good idea because I know Miguel, uh, Papa Yankee too, Oscar Hotel Hotel. Uh, he's been doing a lot of projects using Super VXOs. And you know, I like his projects a lot. Uh, Peter Parker, VK3, Yankee Echo, uh, he's pretty famous for uh, using VXOs and Super VXOs. So uh, I thought maybe um, it's time to test one of those two. Especially that for a CW transceiver I don't have to cover so much bandwidth. So probably a Super VXO might do the job uh, better than a VFO. Especially that I don't have to stress so much uh, with the frequency stability as I would do with a VFO until you get it, I get it to be uh, stable in frequency. So anyway, let's get inside in, in, to the camper, uh, see what schematic I can find, put it quickly on the breadboard and do some testing and uh, see the results. Of course, I cannot do this without saying thank you to my friend at PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Remember that in every video posted uh, um, that is sponsored by PCB Way in the video description, you have a link and uh, you get 5% off on your first order using that link. And remember, on the website there are many surprises many times. Uh, sometimes you get raffles for free things, uh, some, sometimes you have um, uh, coupons with discounts and a lot of advantages uh, comparing to um, uh, other people that don't visit the website at all. Of course, this is beside the excellent PCB prototyping services, CNC, 3D printing and a lot more interesting things that they offer for you. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I have over there. Remember, I'm always posting my projects on the PCB Way uh, community uh, projects page and uh, you can always order over there all the PCB board designs that I'm doing and I'm presenting here on the channel or in the blog articles. And in the blog articles you always have buttons in um, where I have a PCB board design available. Uh, you click that button, it's going to take you straight to the uh, PCB Way uh, community page and you're going to be able to uh, order that PCB board right over there. Anyway, uh, let's get back inside, let's uh, do some testing and uh, see how this uh, Super VXO works. I never built one so far, I never tested one, so I'm pretty curious. I don't know you, but I am. Okay, so here I am with my test circuit. Uh, unfortunately, I could not find three um, crystals for the 40 meters band or the 20 meters band, so I ended up building a version for the 80 meters band. Um, I found a really nice schematic online uh, for the oscillator. I only built the Colpit oscillator part. I did not build the buffer stage because I know I don't need it right now. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's uh, test it really quick and uh, see if it works. I'm going to put the schematic on the screen 
and I will also leave a link um, to the article uh, which I used to build this um, oscillator. Now I'm really curious if it actually oscillates <laughs> on the 80 meters band and uh, how well it performs and uh, how much I can swing the frequency of these three crystals. So if you take a look uh, on the screen, on the schematic for the inductor, uh, I know that technically uh, it's better if you use multiple smaller values inductors, but uh, I just used a 100 nano, uh, sorry, 100 microhenry inductor at this point for testing purposes. For um, the variable capacitor I have uh, 140 picofarads maximum capacity uh, C1 in the schematic in my case I used uh, 100 picofarads for now probably later on I will do some more tests if I want to build a final version and I'm happy uh, C2 and C3 are 220 picofarads and C4 which is the output capacitor which will connect the oscillator to the buffer stage is 100 picofarads again i did not build the buffer stage and i'm powering everything with 9 volts so anyway let's turn it on and see if we can receive something on the true sdx okay so i powered it up and it seems that it works nicely but the power output it's of course it's quite small for this uh, true sdx to receive it so i'm going to hold my hand on the on the crystals and play around like this and I managed to receive it on 3.57340 uh, uh, this is uh, with a crystal of uh, 3.5794 so 3.573 now let's change the frequency Okay, I can still receive it. Not bad. Wow. I'm quite impressed. All right, so I started on uh, three point five seven three, and I ended up on three point five eight two. So it's not bad at all, I'm pretty happy. Uh, definitely I would need a different, uh, different crystals with different frequencies, but I'm pretty happy. Uh, I guess uh, the only thing that I have to do right now is to order some more 40 meters and 20 meters crystals. And uh, once I have those, I will do a couple of more tests and see how much uh, frequency swing I can get over there. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I was not expecting this. Let me try to see if I get any chirp. Sorry for the light. Yeah. As soon as I take my hand away. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to have any chip. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Very nice. Beautiful. Alright, I guess uh, further testing is necessary for from now on. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this test and I was not expecting such a big swing. All right. So it does work. Let's go back. What was 3.573? Yeah, 
3.573 definitely I'm going to try uh, with uh, different inductors in series 3.5734 yep there you go nice not bad I like it oh I think I'm going to play around with this one a lot after I finish <laughs> with the video and sorry about the light by the way but um, I'm trying to pull the curtains over here so I don't have uh, too many light sources all right I like it very much so I guess that's it for the today's video I hope you liked it I hope you found it as interesting as I did um, I'm still haven't decided which one I will use the VFO or the VXO we'll see as soon as I finish uh, testing the VFO project as well uh, talking about the VFO project uh, I remember about the um, um, Charles Kitchen bridge and receiver design and the 5,000 subscribers uh, raffle I haven't forgot about that one <laughs> um, the only issue that I have right now is that I do not have an official address so I'm trying to fix that uh, before I'm doing the raffle and as soon as, as, soon as that uh, issue is fixed then I will do the raffle and send the PCB boards to the people as promised um, coming back to the today's video I'd like to say thank you for watching, uh, thank you for subscribing, for sticking around and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Not sure when it's going to be that but uh, hopefully soon. Until then I wish you a fantastic rest of the week and 73 from Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-Ray Echo.